25 North Chautauqua. Tiny Anderson in the ring, and uh, I guess everybody might end up getting flowers at one time or another if Tiny Anderson can get them, and he did from a couple gals at ringside. Down on in the ring, do the introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, the first event this evening be one fall. Introducing in this corner, 280 pounds from uh, Seattle, Tiny Anderson. His opponent in this corner, 240 pounds from St. Petersburg, Petersburg, Florida, Buzzy, Buzzsaw Kane. The referee, Danny Barr. Tiny Anderson actually originally from Salt Lake. Uh, no, <laughs> Frank, get it right now. St. Paul, Minnesota. And what did Tiny think of his flowers? Well, he threw them away. Threw them into the crowd. Buzz Sawkeen right there. I ran out of Florida. Went to, I believe it was the University of Florida. Was an NC2A champion. It is his first appearance here in the Northwest ever that I'm aware of. Sandy Barr, the referee in black and white tonight. There is the bell. The action's underway. And we'll see if Buzzsaw Keen him by that nickname for a reason or not. He's all over Tiny Anderson to get started. Armbar by Kane turns it over. Goes with a wing lock. Both saw Kane on Tiny Anderson. Tiny one of the big ones, almost 300 pounds. The little ones, that is the famous battling midgets, including a new one, Lone Eagle, a terrific Indian midget. They'll be featured stars coming in on November 22nd. Back and forth, buzzsaw to the arm bar on Tiny Anderson. So toward the end of the month, be looking for the battling midgets and into December. The takedown on Anderson. A good crowd, uh, not like the sellouts and near sellouts that we've been having of late, but good crowd on hand. Buzz Sawkeen from St. Petersburg, Florida. Comes in the same place as does Rip Oliver. And a reverse hammer lock on Anderson. Sandy Barr, referee, looking on. In the background, the sounds is, <laughs> sounds is break it. They're getting started early on their mayhem tonight. Elbow smash. Back of the head. Anderson catches one in a rather ample abdomen. Wing lock again by Kane. Buzz saw Kane with a wing lock. Holding it on Tiny Anderson. They're into the ropes. The break will be called for. And a little bit of an elbow shot in there by Anderson on the break. Buzz saw Kane, Tiny Anderson doing the wrestling. Sandy Barr, the refereeing, and this is Frank Bonema. Call in the action for you. 
Set for the whip. Yes, Keen. And comes up with a kick. Anderson was going to go for the shoulder throw. Got the head down. Would not look up in time and caught the kick from Keen off the mat. Off the ropes. Check that. And 300 pounds lifted easily. Now Kane going to a top turnbuckle. He is about 15 feet away from his man. Comes diving. Stuck a headbutt into the side of the head of Tiny Anderson. And it's all over in a hurry. Buzz saw Kane. Flying through the air with a diving headbutt body press. In three minutes and 41 seconds. The winner, Buzzsaw Kane. We're going to take a look now at the board, see where the action's coming up in the next week or so, and there is a lot of it. So we hope that uh, you might have your piece of paper and a pen or a pencil handy and be ready to write it down because there is action coming up. The midgets will not be in these cards that we're looking at, but they'll be coming in very soon. But you get Jay Youngblood, Buddy Rose, uh, or all the stars, along with the kangaroo. And, of course, Buzzsaw Kane going to be in action as we take a look at where the action is going to be. The Destroyer, Offie, all on hand. And uh, Sunday, starting, uh, that's tomorrow, Sunday, the 10th, at, uh, the, uh, down at Tacoma, Bicentennial Pavilion, that is. Monday in Longview, new location there. A uh, lower community, lower Columbia Community College, and I'll be on hand to introduce all the folks and hope to meet many of you. Uh, Tuesday, a special show here at the Portland uh, Arena. We'll tell you more about that later. Down at Central Lynn High School, Oregon, on Wednesday. Thursday, super gigantic card again at Salem at the Grand Theater, the refurbished Grand Theater. Friday in Eugene, Saturday at Portland, and Sunday at Pendleton, Oregon. Okay, we're going to be right back. Going to take this time out. We're going to hear about where you. That's right where you're number one. We're going to hear from Al talking about Marv Duncan Ford. He's went through life with a, uh, a little lantern looking for truth. I think this man is looking for a way to keep Buddy Rose in the ring. Didn't have much luck at it last week. This That's is John. Ring. Hey, wait a minute. Let me do the talking. Hey, Rose, you see I'm staying up here with this. You know why? From now on, I'm going to have this everywhere I go for protection from your army. Now. That was a real good thing you did last week. You let all the men keep everybody else occupied, and you sent Oliver in the ring to attack me while you once again you ran. Rose, your running days are coming to an end because next Tuesday, whether you like it or not, there's going to be a cage around that ring to keep us in and to keep your army out. Rose! Next Tuesday night, friends, mark it on your calendar and use a red felt-tip pen. Because from now on, bloody Rose, that's what it's going to be. If you people that weren't here last week and didn't see Rose run, you would have been here to see him bleed. And you're going to see him bleed next Tuesday if you come also. Because, Rose, I'm going to get you, whether it's with this, with this, with this, oh, my boot up your, you know what? Lord Jonathan Boyd. Whew. Well, quite uh, a hassle about that last week. What happened? I guess that's one way of working it is a cage around the ring for Buddy Rose. We'll be right back. We're going to hear about some great buys out of Tom Peterson's right now. Here's Tom. Getting ready for Action the Destroyer in the ring. Cage match coming up. It's been a long time since Buddy Rose been stuck in a cage. It's, it's one that should be interesting to see. Rose lately actually running as he did last Saturday. Actually slipped out of the ring, went to the dressing room. He just gave up the match. He became the loser, but the times when that happens, he just doesn't want to be in that ring with whomever. Here are the introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, the next event will be one fall. Introducing in this corner 248 pounds from parts unknown, the destroyer. His opponent in this corner, 235 pounds from Georgia, Eric Emery. The 
Destroyer and Eric Emery. Going to get it on. Johnny Boyd trying to catch up with Bloody Rose, as he calls him. Jay Youngblood, Indian on the rampage, on the warpath. He wants very much to get at Rose himself. Tonight, he will get a shot. Teaming with Lightfoot against Rose, but it's a team match. Rip Oliver being the partner of Buddy Rose. Rose a little bit happy with the uh, with the Cuban. Fidel Cortez said last week he's not getting it done. And did say that uh, Oliver is getting it done. Now some discussion about that mask. There's been some controversy. Some talk going around that on occasion the man in the mask, the destroyer, slips some kind of uh, foreign article, maybe a piece of steel, something like that, underneath the hood, headbutts with it. Of course, that'll take a man out in a hurry. Sandy Barr warning the destroyer about the use of the hair, which is illegal. Side headlock by Emery. They trade shots off the ropes. Destroyer brings him in on off the ropes. A knee drop following a snap man. A flail kick by Emery. Front headlock being worked by the destroyer. Ron Headlock, the destroyer, working on Emery. Right near the middle of the ring. Sandy Barr, referee, looking on. Flying tackle. Don goes Emery, he dives underneath that one, is up and catches his man in midair, but the destroyer gets him off balance. Took him down, got a one count with a body press. Whips him to the mat, comes up with a wing lock, the destroyer. With the hold on Eric Emery. Emery, a lot of potential. A lot of ring experts saying this young man's going to be working his way up into the main events before too long. Eric Emery, put there by the destroyer. No help, use of the hair. Emery, turnbuckle treatment. Drops him down on the apron, he rolls underneath, back into the ring. Roundhouse left. And again, it's blocked, and Emery comes back with one of his own on the destroyer. And around house right, and again. Kick to the abdomen, a punch out of the side headlock by the destroyer. Stop to the side of the head. He's got Emery hurt a little bit down on the canvas. Picks him up. Whips. Oh! Flying elbow smash. Caught him right to the point of the chin. Could be it. One, two, no. He's able to flail kick out of it. He took a shot to the chin, but won't be put away. Emery comes back swinging. Emery gets in the eyes from the destroyer. Going to take him for a backbreaker. Sit out backbreaker on Emery, and this might be it. One, two, and he flail kicks out of it again. 
Emory's taken two good shots and come back. Now a nerve hold, base of the neck, the claw hold. By the destroyer on Eric Emery. Emery from Atlanta, Georgia. The destroyer, who knows from whence he comes. Parts unknown. Sandy Barr right there asking. You want to give it up? You want to submit? Young man from Atlanta, Georgia, holding out against it. Gets up to one knee and one foot now to his feet. Takes away some of the leverage. Goes to the midsection with a couple elbow. Smashes. He's taken down to the canvas. Camber could see use of the hands on the trunks. The destroyer says no. He denies any wrongdoing at all. Sandy Barr did Five see it. minutes gone. Looks like we might be getting some publicity pretty soon. Somebody down at ringside looks like an official type photographer. I don't know. Just exactly uh, where he's from. In the ring. So uh, head scissors by the destroyer. On Emery. You see the destroyer going to the trunks, and I think the referee did too. He did. Sandy Bars has dropped the hold. Show called. And a destroyer, strong upper body. Lift the man, he just threw him. There he is again, choking him up in the air and slams him. Almost reverse body slam, suplex that drop. Emery swinging away. Back the destroyer up some. Destroyer right back at him again. Popping away with that right hand. Emery on hands and knees. Going after him, the destroyer. Now the boot laces in the face. Choking to the count of four. You have five seconds to drop an illegal hold. And you'll oftentimes see guys like the destroyer keep the punishment up for a full four seconds. Reverse chin lock. He's got him in a chin lock back carry. Into the ropes, and he is dealing out the punishment. The destroyer really working on Eric Emery. He's got him on the ropes. Now the turnbuckle. Kick to the midsection. Elbow smash, top of the head. Going underneath the legs. Eric Emery getting to the other side of the ring buys a little time. I don't know if it's enough. The destroyer has him in trouble. Through the ropes. This where an usher was going to take somebody. We see it is, though. We better hurry through here now. <laughs> they almost got landed on by Emery coming through the ropes. And the destroyer there to greet Eric as he climbs underneath the bottom rope back in the ring. Emery taking the punishment, lifted again with that chokehold. One, two, and dumps him, just throws him backwards. About the same effect as the suplex. The destroyer working on Emery. Emery, pretty good wrestler, and I'll tell you, the destroyer is taking it to him in this one. For the last three, four minutes, he has been taking a lot of punishment. A couple of times I thought he was put away for sure. Let's see if he is now. One, no. He didn't even flail kick out of that one. I don't think he had a kick left in him. He just kind of slithered away. Now a thumb in the eye. By Emery, the destroyer after him again. 
Working on him on the top rope. Nine minutes gone. Suplex. Drop. Coming. Front headlock. Suplex drop. And Matt. Well, I said about three times for you that put him away. I'm not going to say it. He gets a foot on a rope this time. Eric Emery showing that he is picking up his inexperience. Through the ropes again. The destroyer holding up both hands. All he gets are booze. There's troubles holding him up as in victory. But he still hasn't put Emory away. Now, a solid kick to the top of the head. And the photographer, I tell you, that man gets at his work. He's laying on the floor. He's getting a floor to floor shot of Emory out there, moving up on it. That photographer doesn't get in the way. As it can happen easily. Now that is a bona fide qualified photographer, and he's cleared to get in that close. Don't two come to the matches and do that. Very easily get hurt that way. Sandy Barr with some words for the destroyer. The destroyer comes over. And Emery right at him. And that photographer's going to get caught in this yet if he's not careful. Emery flailing away. And the crowd coming out. Oh, he put the finger in the mask, just pulled it toward him and put that right hand shot. There he does it again. That's got to be hurting. The destroyer. Uh oh. Emery. Watch out, watch out, pile driver coming up. He walked him about six feet across the ring, put the pile driver on him, and he won't get up from this one. The pile driver followed by the body press. And that match minutes. goes to the destroyer. And 19 the destroyer seconds. The winner, putting a lot the destroyer. Of world to hurt on Emory. Emory hung in there tough. Had a couple of comebacks, but just couldn't quite handle it. Emory looking good, but the Destroyer winning it. We're going to be right back. First, we're going to hear, though, from Ellen talking with words about Marv talking Ford with your number one. Rip Oliver and the Playboy, Buddy Rose. You know, Johnny Boyd, I want to, you know, classify him as one of the lower class, cheaper sort of wrestlers. You know, he reminds me of, like, oats. You can get good oats, and you can get bad oats. Some are more expensive, some are cheaper. But Boyd, you remind me of the oats that's already gone through the horse, and they come a lot cheaper. And I'll tell you something else. Johnny Boyd, your goal in life is to put my shoulders down for the count of three, and it's killing you because you can't do it. You've tried week after week to try to defeat me, and you can't do it. Boy, the only way you'd ever be able to lick me is to put my face on a postage stamp and put me on a letter, let me tell you right now. I've mangled him up every week. I've mangled him. Look at his face. It looks like a bag full of doorknobs right now. And the man comes up here crying every week saying, Rose, I'm going to get you. Now he's talking cage. Boyd, you want a cage match, right? I'm not running because you haven't beat me every time we've met. You're going to try again. You're dying to get my belt, and you can't get it. A lot of wrestlers have tried, and I've never seen anybody try as much as you, and you still haven't got it. Is, am I that tough? Am I that good? Well, I am. And another thing, Boyd, he's aging. The man is aging because he can't beat me. The other day he was walking by a cemetery, and two guys started chasing him with shovels. So, Boyd, you got a lot of problems. Your biggest one is trying to beat me and put my shoulders down for the count of three. You're not going to beat me. And another thing, Oliver and myself are going to become the new tag team champions. Boyd, you come out here crying about the Army jumping in on you, the Army's jumping in and everything. Hey, you better be glad 
that I come in to pull bo uh, Buddy off of you last week. If I had to come in and pull Buddy off of you last week, you wouldn't have been here to wrestle tonight, Boyd. The pass speaks for itself. The Playboy and Rip Oliver. And of course, a little later on tonight, they will be going into, uh, they'll be going in the ring against the new Indian team, Lightfoot and the Youngblood. And Youngblood's been after Rose for some time to see if he gets his opportunity. We understand that's going to be our TV main event. We hope so will. No shortly, but before we do anything, we're going to hear from Tom again. He and I get team up here a little bit. Tell you about television. First of all, a very, very good, I would call it inexpensive television. Listen to this special price on the set that Tom's got on the set. However, some of you may say, well, it doesn't, uh, uh, doesn't quite fit exactly the specifications of what I want. I want something a little different. Maybe you're looking for a brand name. Well, I'll tell you, they've got it too. I got my brand name. I got my Zenith this week. So you go out there, you're going to get some great prices also, comparable great prices on brand name televisions, names you've heard about, uh, with qualities you might, special features you might be looking for. Here's Tom to tell you about them. Save. We are back, and you're going to get the main event. Once again, Don on at the request of the sponsors, bringing you the main event whenever possible. Here's Don. Ladies and gentlemen, the next event be the best two out of three falls or to a TV time limit. A relay team match. Now, this is not a title bout. The Indians just defended their title last week and they don't have to put the belts up again for 30 days. Well, that's the rules. That's the rules. And if we beat them, you better make them put them up on the line because you know my reputation, Owens. Introducing in this corner the team of Rip Oliver and Playboy Buddy Roll. Their opponents in this corner and the Northwest team champions and one of the most sensational teams in the nation, I believe, the Indian Jay Youngblood and Joe Lightfoot. Youngblood and Lightfoot won't put their titles on the line because they know they're going to lose. Youngblood and Lightfoot, and there, Oliver and Rose. The Playboy, Buddy Rose, and Rip Oliver. The Playboy from Las Vegas, Nevada. Rip Oliver from St. Petersburg, Florida. Sandy Barr trying to get the instructions given. It was, as memory serves me right, it was some five, six years ago now that Jesse Ventura, he won the heavyweight championship, and the next time he wrestled in Portland, he wore it into the ring. And that, for a long, long time, if you wore the belts into the ring, you wore them only on a title defense. What a kind of uh, got the theory going that, hey, you've won the belts, you ought to display them whether you're defending or not. So a lot of the champions now wear their belts into the ring, even uh, in a non-title bout. That's the case tonight with the Indians. It's not a title match. They are the tag team champions. They wore those belts into the ring. And of course, Playboy Buddy Rose had a very good point, whether you like it or not. That is, if you beat the champions in a non-title bout, you're almost forcing a title shot. Jay Youngblood getting a little hot. He starts off against Rip Oliver. Oliver gets word of encouragement from the general, Playboy Buddy Rose. He's the general of the army. Judo chop with Tomahawk, top of the head. A blonde from Florida gets taken into the enemy corner and turnbuckle there. Youngblood and another Tomahawk. Side headlock. They're going to do a little double teaming. Lightfoot and Youngblood. It's Lightfoot in now. 
Right foot. Fine. The Indian wrestler and getting probably the biggest shot of his career teaming up with Young Blood. Young Blood, a former tag team world champion. He and Rick Steamboat held that title for some time when he was back east and down south. Side headlock down on the mat, light foot. On Rip Oliver. Right tackle puts Oliver down. Light foot. Does a cartwheel around Oliver's punch. Hits him once and nails him with a drop kick. And a hip throw for the takedown. Rolls coming in to interfere, and Youngblood cut him off at the pass. Rose saw him coming. Oliver going to the hair. Sandy Barr just grabbed Oliver's blonde locks and pulled him back. They know this is what you're doing, which is illegal. The tag, like foot with the whip, and cutting him down with a chop. And another. Jay Youngblood, a hip throw for the takedown side headlock. Down on the canvas. One. And he gets the arm up. Right foot in the background. Uh, circle the wagons, or uh, let's all go. He's doing some cheerleading at any rate. For Young Blood. Young Blood! The double chop on Rose. And again. Side headlock. Right foot. Taking him to the enemy corner. The tag on Rose. Rose gets one shot in, takes a chop himself. And a hip throw. He lands on his feet. Joe Lightfoot. The slug around. Now the whip. And in with a monkey flip. He went all the way up to the light. Came down in a monkey flip by Joe Lightfoot. On the playboy, out of the corner. Now Jay Youngblood. And Rose is getting out of there. Rose does not want to stay in there. That tape thumb of Oliver used on Jay Youngblood. Rose, obviously, does not want to be in there when young blood is and young unless young blood is hurting a controversial tape thumb again young blood is groggy and so rose will come in the whip on young blood oh he nailed him with a flying elbow right to the point of the chin but he's up and rose gets out Stop. Turnbuckle treatment for Oliver. Lightfoot will come in. And they quadruple shot. Shoulder roll. A shoulder Six roll. Minutes gone. Covered with a body press. One, two. A chop on Rose to first ball. The Lightfoot and Young Blood. Driving the shoulder into Oliver in twice six minutes, on that shoulder four roll. seconds, the winner of the first ball, Jay Youngblood and Joe Lightfoot. You hear it. Well, in a minute, we're going to give you the towns again. A real quick look at where the towns are and 
as you look at them I'll be uh, reading those off and going into the following week just a little bit so that you can be planning before we do that while I've got this camera on me remind you that the midgets are coming in there is Billy the kid one of them Cowboy Lang very popular and Cowboy Lang is a new partner called Lone Eagle supposed to be one of the finest young Indian wrestlers uh, Indian midget wrestlers ever the no uh, National Wrestling Alliance wrestling midgets will be coming in in the very near future near the end of the month right now though a rundown of where the cons are coming up so if you take a look at it Tacoma you see Longview and then a Portland special here Tuesday night Wednesday we don't have a uh, card for it. Central Lynn High School down at Halsey. That's on Wednesday. Thursday, double main event down at Salem. Buddy Rose down there uh, going against the Indian. Why Friday in Eugene, a super card being put on by Elton Owen. That's Friday in Eugene next Saturday back at Portland. Sunday in Pendleton. And then the following week, Sunday, Elmo, Washington. I'll be there Monday in Grandview and uh, a lot of other towns that we'll tell you more about later. Right now, we're going to take this time out and listen to Alan Tonkin tell you about things out at Marv Tonkin Ford where you Richman Dutch Savage right. Frank tomorrow uh, we're at the Bicentennial Pavilion in Tacoma the matches start at 7 p.m. that's tomorrow night Sunday night Monday night a super spectacular card at the college gymnasium in Longview Washington that's at Lower Columbia Community College first show ever there we will expect a big turnout in Longview this coming Monday night Tuesday night special Portland special a cage match Lord Jonathan Boyd and Playboy Buddy Rose uh, ladies and gentlemen, I just sent a note to Playboy Buddy Rose's uh, dressing room via uh, Don Owens about a certain couple of individuals for Tuesday night. I want Rose to read that very carefully. I'm quite sure you'll have some comments about it. Wednesday night, we're going down to Halsey, Oregon, to Central Lynn High School. The kids at Central Lynn, I was their guest down here to pep rally yesterday afternoon. A great bunch of kids. we got a super big card Wednesday night, Central Lynn High School in Halsey, Oregon. Thursday night, Salem, the Grand Theater. Friday night. There's a six-man tag in Eugene, Oregon. Big six-man tag at the Lane County Fairgrounds, and there's a special guest referee on the card, folks. Also, Saturday night, Portland again. And then the following Sunday, we're in Pendleton, Oregon. You folks over in Pendleton are going to get a chance to see the steel cage over there. Uh, I'd like to say this on behalf of Buzzsaw Kane. I have seen some phenomenal moves in my time. I have seen Jimmy Snuka dive, but I have never seen a man jackknife in midair and crush an opponent. That was super. This guy's a comer. Thank you. Thank you. That's Savage, ladies and gentlemen. Talking a little bit about Salem there earlier, and that is uh, the Indian going uh, against Rose. He'll get him in the ring down there in Montero. Of course, it's a big one. We'll be right back. Right now, it's time to hear once again from our good friend and sponsor for low these many years, Tom Peterson. Well, the first ball TV main event. Went to Jay Youngblood, Joe Lightfoot. And they did it impressively. There might be some problem uh, for the team of Rose and Oliver to win. Oliver is going to have to beat White for our young bud all the time. Unless young bud really gets put out because Rose doesn't want to come in there. Whenever young bud's in, he wants his man Rip Oliver to do the wrestling. He's not want to get in that ring with him. Oliver goes to the trunk. Sandy Barr saw it. And just put Young Bud right back into position. This time he didn't see it. Young Bud is able to get his weight shifted back over to where he is to hold the side. Headlock down on the mat. One. Trying to give him a little extra leverage as Rose from outside the ring, putting his weight on Oliver's foot. Sandy Barr catches Oliver again in the trunks. Brings Young Bud back into position with a hold. 
And Oliver trying to reverse the hold. Young Bud. Yes, using his strength to regain the side headlock. Down on the mat in the middle of the ring. Side headlock. Now Oliver is going to make his way to his feet. Trying to go for a reversal to the top wrist lock. Side headlock. A hip throw for the takedown. Butt, and he's got a headlock against him coming up on top and rolling right over Oliver is making some ground there but he just took him right up on top and over well a lot of people back there in the background about this time are probably looking at themselves a lot of folks come out and see the matches and then go home and watch themselves to watch the show on television and oftentimes see a shot of themselves. The tag. White put in. Side headlock. Joe Light put on Rip Oliver. They're on the ropes. Watch out on the break. To the midsection, back of the head by Oliver again. Forearm smash. And Bane's that head down. A tag with Lightfoot in. A buddy Rose will come in with Lightfoot there. Slam. Right foot down hard. Buddy Rose. Kick to the back of the head. He will. Front headlock. And trying to block right foot from getting over. The tag. Sandy Barr going down. Taking a good look. Oliver coming in. And a kick to the midsection. A sucker punch, if you will, on Youngblood by Lightfoot, and he's rolled up and a small package kicks off. Turnbuckle treatment. And the double team on Lightfoot as Rose checks out. Rip Oliver checks in. We want Joe, the crowd, trying to get him going. And the thumb in the eye and that controversially taped thumb. Joe going for the tag. And he's in the wrong corner. Rose takes the tag and laughs gleefully. Snap mare. And the hammerlock from behind. Six minutes gone. Side headlock. Oliver working on Joe Lightfoot. Down on the canvas. This is how you do it, okay? Playboy Buddy Rose. This is how you do it, and turned around again and said, you hurt him. Oliver, in against Lightfoot. You would think that they'd be changing to Rose pretty soon because Rose, not wanting to be in there ever when Youngblood is, unless Youngblood is hurt. And 
Gets a double team and now. They switch. They did it without a tag, but it, they were tagable, so uh, not much Sandy Barr can do about it. Get to the top of the head. Uh, Playboy by Lightfoot. Yo, just short of the tag. Into the corner. Judo chop. Now he'll whip him, yes. Lightfoot. Goes up. He was going to go up, I believe, and try to go with a, uh, try to come back with a flying body press to lay the foot slip. About halfway up there. Watch out. Oliver off the second turnbuckle. Double club low between the shoulder blades. Whitefoot was going to make a move, I do believe. The foot slip, and he got hung up on that top turnbuckle. Young blood in the enemy corner. Now he gets Rose and Oliver. He was going to bang their heads together. He ducks. Oliver throws a punch and clobbered Rose. Oliver able to turn around. Time to stop him short of the tag. Rose comes in. The whip. And victory roll. Could be two straight balls. He's able to kick out of it. Looks like Lightfoot might have him with that victory roll. Sunset flip. Double chop. Nine minutes gone. Foot stop. Stop right to the abdomen. Rolls over on him. Nearly. I thought he was going to get the pin. He got kicked to the side of the head. Oliver out. Oliver in, but he rolls out. And right foot getting worked on during this second fall. He won the first fall for his team. Front headlock down on the mat. Oliver. Oliver working on right foot. KPTV Channel 12, Portland. Bar right down there checking to make sure it's not a choke. Right foot hurting right now, just trying to find a way out of there. Throws Oliver off the hold, but can't get over for the tag. Tag, light foot is groggy. Rose will come in. Block turnbuckle and Rose gets it. Rose gets the turnbuckle treatment. Trip light foot. Trying to get over for the tag, the young bud. Stop short at chin lock from behind. Buddy Rose. Chin lock from behind. Lightfoot trying to lift up. All he has to do is make about one step. He's only a foot or so short of the tag. And again, Rose comes up. Lightfoot now for the tag, but Rose is belted. Youngblood to the floor of the arena. He's not there for the tag. And now Rose going out. Working on Youngblood. Oliver slips in to work on Lightfoot. Now it's Rose choking away as Oliver keeps the referee's attention. One, two, and can't put him away. 
right foot trying to get to the tag, on. his partner. Kick on Rose. Puts him down. A right foot went away from the corner. The tag is good. Watch out. Candy by the door. Here comes Jay Bird Youngblood. A whip hard. Shoulder throw. There it is. From the Texas War Dance. They tag went for the drop kick. They tag Lightfoot was going to drop kick Rose. Rose just reflex action, grabbed the rope, came up short. The drop kick went in the air. Now Lightfoot back with a tomahawk and another side headlock. He's thrown off it. Watch out, Billy Robinson inside out backbreaker. One, two, this one will be all even. When he gets that backbreaker. In 13 minutes and the inside 16 out, Billy seconds, Robinson, backbreaker, he wins it. Fall, Our main event is Oliver. all even at a fall apiece. Want to let you know again that so many times, I've never worked out a percentage, but a large percentage at a time, the main event is brought to you at home. Sometimes it can't be done, but our sponsors always ask Don Owen whenever they can, particularly for the shut-in. Others cannot be out here to bring them to main event. He does so often as not, more often than not, and that is the case tonight. And in that main event, it is all even. Rose and Oliver, one Paul, Youngblood, Lightfoot, one Paul. We'll be right back. We're going to take this commercial break back at the studio and we'll return to the Portland Sports Arena. The Destroyer. And what I want to know, I get up here every week and beat my opponent and make them suffer. I love to make my opponent suffer. What I want to know is when am I going to get a main event match with Joe Lightfoot or Jay Youngblood or Jonathan. Boy, I could beat them all in the same night if they had enough nerve and beat them the same way I beat Eric Emery today because the Destroyer is the greatest wrestler in the world and is willing to take a challenge from any one of them guys. When am I going to get a match with them? I think I deserve a match with them. When are you guys going to get enough guts to get in the ring with the Destroyer so I can destroy you and make you go through a lot of pain? So Jay Youngblood, Joe Lightfoot, Jonathan Boy, and whoever else they want to get, when are you going to do it? When are you going to have the guts to get in the ring with the Destroyer, huh? That's the words and the challenge from the Destroyer. It is hard to know a whole lot about the man, the Destroyer, incidentally, because he is masked, and we don't even know quite where he was campaigning uh, just previous to coming here. What we hear by the grapevine, this is one of the, the tough ones. We're going to take a commercial break right now. I'm not just sure who it is. It's Tom, okay? Let's We're back. There's the team the crowd doesn't like. But there's the team that's formidable. Rip Oliver. Boy, boy, Buddy Rose. In against Joe Lightfoot and Jay Youngblood. Fifteen minutes remaining. Two falls already. And incidentally, we have no more commercial messages, no more breaks to bring you, so stay with us. We're here for the whole thing, and we would imagine that if this ends earlier than the time limit, we'd have some kind of standby bout. We'll just have to wait and see. And the Playboy Prance showing it off a little bit. Shoulder throw, light foot. That nearly landed on his feet and fell backwards. I think he would have landed on his feet earlier in the match, but he has taken quite a bit of beating. And now the inside cradle. One, two. Oliver is going to come over. A light foot. And a Billy Goat butt. 
on Rose there, but the tag was already made. Lightfoot on the ropes. He's taken off the ropes by Oliver. Set for the whip into the far ropes and caught in a bear hug. A body lock carry. Getting worked on Oliver. Working on Lightfoot. Oliver is a big, strong man. Lightfoot puts him with a right hand. Another chop. He is rammed into the turnbuckles. The top two over in the corner. Rose says, I'll take him. Sets him for the whip. And a go for it again, and he is taken backwards and nearly pinned. Whitefoot nearly got the pin on Rose. Judo chop puts him down. Whitefoot tripped on the way over and didn't get the tag. He was tripped and went down hard. On his back, was a little bit stunned. Oliver going at him. Standing body lock now. The bear hug in the standing position. Applying the pressure. Oliver gets cracked on the ears. Drops the hold. Did he tag? I guess not. I thought he tagged Rose. Lightfoot just short of the tag again from Youngblood. Chinlock from behind. Youngblood over from the top rope. Double club blow back of the head. Buddy Rose. Oh, flying body press by Youngblood. By Lightfoot, check it. Lightfoot nearly nailed him. Rose, between rounds, has filed. We understand... Uh, what amounts to a demand from him. It's a request, but it does carry a lot of weight. And that is that if he and his partner beat the Indians here tonight, they want a, uh, a title match next week already. There is a Tuesday night match, but we understand that Rose has been forced on that one to accept the match inside the cage. For the earliest possible time for a title match. But right now, it's all even a fall to piece on Lightfoot. And he's just taken the uh, reverse and taken the headlock. Now Rhodes has it again. Lightfoot and Buddy Rhodes in the ring. Down on the mat. He's diving, uh, driving his shoulder into the side of the head of that headlock. Sandy, Sandy Barr is the third man in the ring. I remind you that tickets for Tuesday, 289-4222, is the phone number, and that is Sunday and Tuesday, 289-4222, for tickets. Buddy Rose yelling, that's how you do it. Nine minutes remaining. Or you can get tickets at the flea market out here at the uh, sports arena tomorrow. Doors open about 8 o'clock, and the tickets are available at the concession stand. That's for next Tuesday's card. Front headlock. Oliver working on Lightfoot. And they have been going at it. These guys have been in a ring a long time. 
Lightfoot particularly has been taking punishment but keeps coming back. Rose is going to give it the treatment to Lightfoot. But he got it instead. But Lightfoot not able to get out for the tag. Joe now whipped into the ropes and catches a solid elbow smash. Eight minutes remaining. Headlock from behind Oliver, and he's over in his corner. He and Rose try to keep things in that corner. You cut off the ring. Cut it down to about a third and try to keep it in your third. Young Bud darting back and forth across the way. Trying to get the crowd aroused. Trying to get Joe aroused. And the crowd is four. We want Joe. Joe Lightfoot being worked on by Oliver. He's got the side headlock, but he's got it awfully well applied. I think he's got the arm caught in it, too. He almost, uh, no, he does not. Yes, he does. I think he's got it underneath that right arm, which applies even more pressure to the side Seven of the head remaining. and under the arm. It's tantamount. No, he does not. He's got a straight hammerlock, a straight side headlock, but he's putting it on. Now Lightfoot throw up about four elbow smashes into the midsection, but not much steam on him. Lightfoot has taken a lot of punishment in this one. Front headlock. And Joe Lightfoot getting awfully near being able to make a tag. Oliver in, and there's the tag. Tag is good, and Lightfoot tag. No, Sandy Barr did not see it. They are double teaming. They drop Lightfoot to throw it across that top rope. Sandy Barr did not see the tag. And after the double team, Oliver. Six minutes remaining. No, that was only a two count, not a three count. Lightfoot got a couple of shots into the midsection of rope. Outside. And he's still got Oliver inside. And Oliver working on him now. Switch Oliver up. The playboy in. And the front headlock again. And driving for the corner to get the tag. Yes! Rule Sandy Barr. The tag is good, and Rose didn't realize it. Right cross. Rose and Oliver, heads banged together. Five minutes. By Jay Youngblood. The Indians working on him. Knee lift. Turnbuckle treatment on Oliver outside the ring. Judo chop. Young blood favors the chops. He's going to go with the suplex. Yes. Suplex throw. A little war dance. Takes Rose. Another judo chop. Double chop. Throws to Groggy. Did not realize where he was. Could have had the tag. Rose gets young blood in the eye. Now sets him for the whip, but Rose is whipped instead. Caught upstairs. The whip. Double judo chop. One. Two, the feet are on the ropes. Sandy Barr would have seen that. I think it would have stopped the count anyway. Oliver made sure he got in and interfered. 
There's the tag, and Rose able to get out. Oliver's in, and he's catching it from Youngblood. Drop kick. Caught him bouncing off the ropes. One, two, and Rose had not yet left the ring. The whip. Elbow smash. Judo chop drop. Joe Lightfoot in. Putting it on him. Three minutes. And he's pulling the hair. Buddy Rose grabbed the hair of Young Bud. He went down under the weight of Oliver. And they get the pin. Well, hang tough. Let's see what happens here for the next eight, eight or nine minutes. minutes. We're going to keep it right here. We've got eight or nine minutes. We might get a short standby bot. We will just have to see. Sandy Barr trying to figure out what happened. Buddy Rose is saying they just got the weight up. You saw on your screens at home or in the tavern, wherever you might be watching. But he grabbed that hair. And under the way of Oliver, Youngblood went down. He was under the body press. When Sandy Barr turned around, that is what he saw. He went one, two, three. Youngblood is not too sure what happened himself, I don't believe. It happened in a hurry. Now the crowd is up around the ring. They're trying to say what it was all about. We're trying to explain Sandy Barr. Now we understand that uh, we, under we understand that it has been made official during that third action fall that if they won, they got a title shot a week from tonight. Well, once again, it ends in controversy, but the winners, Oliver, Oliver, and the Playboy. That's what you call teamwork! We want a tag team title match next Saturday night. They give them all they have. They give us all they have. They could not beat us. I pinned it one, two, three. And young blood didn't get to me. Thanks to your manliness, your courage, you did it. A lot of men have protected me, and you did it again, brother. You protected me good tonight. Cortez, you see how it was done? Johnny Boy, all it bears down to is you and I in a cage. Rose, I just come up here. I know this is your time. You won the match. All right, you won the match. But once again, you did it the same way you always do it. You do it as a team, you do it as an army. But next Tuesday night, you're gonna do it face to face with me. You better read your mail. Even Savage sent a note into the dressing room telling you what's gonna happen, friend. Next Tuesday night, you're in the cage with me and you're so cocky up here that you think your army's gonna help you. Well, your army's not gonna help you because they're gonna be back in that dressing room and all the people from my dressing room are gonna be standing guard on it. So that if anybody comes through that door, anybody comes through that door, they're gonna be knocked in. And if you manage to get out of the ring, my friends are gonna put you back in it. Next Tuesday night. That's Tuesday night, the match has been ordered. They can't stand there and keep me in the dressing room. They say, what are they, some kind of fools or something? I can get out past them. Guess we'll find out Tuesday. Johnny Boyd, I beat you five straight times here. How many more times do I got to beat you? You haven't beaten me. I still got my belt. Everybody wants to see me beat but they don't because I am the best in the Northwest! Don Owens, you'll do anything to try to see me beat, but you can't do it. Cage match, brother, Tuesday, and then Johnny Boyd will be his story. Well, that's it from the Playboy.
and Rip Oliver. Next Saturday. That's not it. You haven't seen the title match. Yet. Next Saturday, the title match. Tuesday, the cage match. Well, we're going to keep it here. We've got we've got a couple more minutes in the show, but we are just going to hold it right here and maybe go over a couple of things. Clarify first of all. Clarify first of all that uh, the cage match has been ordered for Tuesday night. And incidentally, I hear Jay Youngblood is going to be named the referee. We'll find out about that. Do want to remind you that a lot of new faces are coming in. A lot of new faces are already here. You can't call him a new face, but I think you could call it a new mask, the Destroyer. Of course, you heard him. You know what he wants to do. There is some talk still, and he is occasionally in some of the towns teaming up seemingly with the army there's been kind of a breakup between the, the cuban uh, rose has said you're not carrying your weight fidel cortez so i'm going to have to do it uh, i guess and he takes oliver so with that we have the team up now of uh, rose and oliver of course the team of young blood and lightfoot going at it the destroyer is said to be looking for a partner we'll have to wait and see uh buzzsaw kane is a new face in town Dutch Savage was here earlier talking about him and saying what an amazing uh, young man he seemed to be in the moves that he had. And we would have to agree with that. Uh, that young man, I think, is going to be going some uh, place. Eric Emery is getting tougher. And remember that in just a couple of weeks, the battling midgets are back again. These are a couple that we've seen before, and they are among the best. That's Cowboy Lang, and that is Billy the Kid. And there is a new one now. Uh, that'll be coming in with them called Lone Eagle, said to be one of the greatest since Little Beaver uh, midget wrestlers anywhere. Frank Bonham here. Thanks a lot for being with us. We'll be looking for you again next Saturday or somewhere where there's wrestling live. Seeing him in person. So long, everybody. From the Portland Sports Arena, this has been Portland Wrestling. Brought to you in part by Marv Tonkin Ford, where you're number one. And by Tom Peterson's at 82nd and Southeast Foster Road, Oregon's largest TV stereo and appliance store, and our furniture too. Floor director for tonight's show, Donovan Bass. News itself and the people who report it. To keep on top of the news, you need reporters who are professionals, who give the stories meaning and depth by reporting from the scene. On the east side of the Galena Ridge Fire, I'm Tim Storrs. At the Multnomah County Courthouse, Randy Ripplinger reporting. On the Oregon coast in Rockaway, this is Paul Majors reporting. Reporting from Salem, Essex Porter, Channel 2 News. Wherever news happens in the Northwest, Channel 2 reporters are there. Sometimes the audience agrees with the answers on Match Game. Answer X. Yes, they did. And sometimes the audience disagrees. A club. He a club. smashed him on the breastbone. And it's... Right. But everyone agrees that the fun is hard to match as Gene Rayburn hosts Match Game. Weekdays at 3 here on K2.